Hello, ladies, gents, and puny adherents of the Empire. We return to the wondrous adventures of this awful mountains of madness. All done with our incredible expedition of getting more human meat. Look at this. Look at this elephant with Anfia full of meat. And Murder Thrust has a bunch of human meat. And also we found a bunch of gold. Who cares about that? We have so much flesh to consume. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. I know. I know there has been a number of problems. And I continue to completely forget that we own mortars. You need to yell at me. Actually, you do need to yell at me. I just completely forgot they exist. <laughs> just, oh, no. What is it about it? I, I just never think that they are there. They probably could have been helpful for the 60 billion gore hulks that showed up the other day. That's all right. It'll, it's just more ammo for another day. Don't worry about it. Finally, our giant fencing has been complete. I scheduled a few. A few. You know what, Gravedigger? Get my meat out of these elephants. We are prioritizing that right now. I scheduled a power conduit to be built. I scheduled all kinds of digging. To be done because I realized there's only 117 steel in our inventory. But there's still plenty of steel in the wall. So it should be all right for the time being. The time will come though where we will be like, holy crap, I'm out of steel. I got no steel left. Buy every bit of steel that I can possibly find. Because I was like, man, I need to get around to building these hydroponics. Because the power situation is pretty much solved for the time being. Look at the excess. The excess is minus tw uh, 1490, not, not great, <laughs> actually. Not great, but it's nighttime right now. It is 3 a.m. So these generators are not good enough to power all of our needs right now. So maybe, maybe the power situation is not completely sorted because our batteries are being drained in this very moment. And it's a little bit difficult to find more space to create more power generation obviously we can put a few more solar panels over here also scheduled a, a little bit of prettifying a couple of places it's about that time where we start making some cool spaces for our idiots to dwell upon dwell in dwell whereabout whatever uh, preposition you want to use there mm. that's about it that's about it, but the power situation is like, uh, we do get a bajillion more boomalopes. It should be all right. Why is there, why? Why is there this giant pile of human flesh in the straw? Come on, man. Come on. Kraklak Vakve. How about Kraklak Vakve? You are going to haul. And La Katrina, like my scientists... My scientists are going to become haulers for the time being. Blargo is going to become a hauler until this flesh is properly taken care of. Meg, I mean, you are you are a hauler, really. If there's no digging to be done, you are a hauler. So that should be pretty good. And Fathead Nerd, no, you are like a, a really pathetic wimp that barely can move. So you're not hauling anything. Uh, the Rock Hard Driller really needs to get around to drilling are you in mech safety is that why you're not going out there doing work mech safety unrestrict everything no wonder nothing's being hauled i completely forgot to get these idiots out into the world after what was it it was the gore hawks i think gore hawks that uh, i restricted them sasha and cold shaw why though <laughs> is he an idiot maybe it's very possible he's just a moron instead of going to sleep he's just having a meal you're just gonna fall asleep on the table you absolute buffoon we really need to get those helmets out in production because i don't want these idiots to have a freaking gas mask on why are you going are you going to breathe that bullet properly you're going to filter it through your N95, you buffoon. I have no respect for you. Anyway, really should put this Luciferum somewhere safe. Let's do that immediately. 
how you do is you create a cubby hole. It's created right here. And we'll bury it in the in the walls. Okay, the cold shot is going to bed. It'll be fine. You just need to sleep it off. This dumbass furry also made it so that the power conduits get put into the walls, like properly done. It's also warning the comments like, hey, maybe, you know, th this was a good idea. Maybe do more of that. You probably should do more of that because they have some anomaly knowledge that I don't. It's like, uh, inside threats are a problem in anomaly. Maybe you want to even have put down like checkpoints and guns and stuff. Uh, eh, let it be a surprise. Let it be a terrible thing that I have to deal with when the time comes. It will be a good time. Uh, that being said, you know, it seems like a, a pretty good idea to, at the very least, we're going to create a few more separations. Put a few choke points in places. This seems like a good spot as well. And we'll even put down some fancy plasteel doors. Nothing else right there and right there. You know, get a little bit of containment going on. And this also allows, like, if you're putting doors in only some areas, it funnels stupid creatures to those areas. It makes it so that they don't try to go through this door. They will just try to go through this place right here. Thing is, so I'm not going to put a door there. Just let things happen. In fact, this should all be held open. All these uh, in-between doors, they're just wasting time. They're really, their only function that they follow is to separate rooms. So uh, if you just leave them open, you're saving yourself the time that it takes to open them. So let's do that. The door to the hospital shall remain closed though. Just giving people peace and quiet. Make finally recovering from her experience she's had a quite a rough time out there oh yeah tiro's getting around to all that butchering of the people mm -mm -mm. look at all this delicious human meat our mushrooms oh i was about to say they must be pretty close to harvest time hell yeah baby finally a giant pile of mushrooms just in time to pair with the human meat going to create some delicious meal opportunities really really happy about that don't let this spoil. Seven hours. He better get hauled. Seems like all the elephants have been properly... No, no, no. No, they have not. Gear? Okay, just a few berries. A few people. They'll get around to it, though. Wonder how, how long until this expires. Uh, they are doing the thing. Blargo is here, coming in here, getting the hauling done. Hopefully... Oh, yeah. Let me get this group to just recharge. There you go. Um, I think they'll get around to it. I don't think I need to put anybody else in hauling mode. But uh, let's keep track of it. Let's pass some time forward. Let's make sure that people are going in here pretty often. All right, looks good. I think I can now let people do what they do. I want this haul, though. This human meat. Delicious human meat. It needs to get hauled. Please. All right. <laughs> there you go. Let's get that work assignment back to what it should be, which is, you know, no hauling for you. Unlike Katrina, you are quite the researcher, smarty pants. Hmm, all right. This age reversal problem also needs to be fixed. As soon as, let's let's create a list of priorities here. This is like low priority. Ooh, bio, bioferrite harvester. Build bioferrite harvesters that automatically extract bioferrite from captured entities. Produce more bioferrite than manual extraction. I see, I see. Uh, we're going to definitely build some of those. What else do we want? Electro harvester. Build a generator that draws electricity from contained ent entities. Awesome. Hell yeah. Um, let me get around to doing that before I forget. Sharding here. Bioferrite harvester. There's also the psychic ritual spot. But we're not going to get around to that. One component, 50 steel. That is not bad. We can handle that. Let's put it next to inhibitor. Actually, no. It doesn't need to aim at the inhibitor. So it can just be in the corner like so. 
and we're also going to put one right here actually let me redo that make sure it doesn't clip a corner there gotta be a little bit of a walkway so we you can observe the entity properly you know very important mm. i had a thought and then he vanished i had a thought and then he vanished creating the list of priorities this shall be done for it is scheduled and for some reason floors are prioritized they'll build this area over here they'll get all this done and what i need to prioritize before i get the the age reversal thing done this giant room right here i discover a bunch of steel so i told them to hey just keep mining until the steel runs out and we'll build a worthy throne room in this spot it's going to be glorious the empire shall be ever so happy to visit this land and then burn to a crisp erica dawson what is your problem you're you're just a pussy is that your problem that's right the chemical starvation starvation uh, do i even have a method to harvest not to harvest but to create psychite tea do you do that i'm pretty sure this the tea you need like a crafting spot right Meg is fully healed. Sweet, sweet. I don't think you can do it in the drug lab. It's like a really, really low-tech thing. Uh, but you do need to research it. I don't know if I have it. Let's put it right here. Let's see. Brew tea? Huh. Let's see what else is... You can make a nerve spiker in a crafting spot, I see. Uh, let's go to research. Go to the main... Yeah, Psychoid Bruin, you need to research this. It should be pretty fast. 500 uh, should not take long. Should not take long. Let's uh, make that happen. Nobody's researching right now. I did get people back to researching, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Crack like a back day. He's probably just sleeping. Just lazy. Lazy people. This is uh, a little out of control, this... Oh, this got dug out. Let me create a shelf because, you know, I'm very fancy. I'm very fancy. I need to do it proper. A smooth, not a bookcase. By the way, we haven't seen any books. That was an addition in the, in the latest patch. Not the latest patch, but you know, the expansion. There has been no books whatsoever to be found. That being said, I haven't gone out of my way to even find them. Maybe you can even write them. You can, maybe there's even a building. I need to actually look at it. Uh, Lucy. Luciferum, it will be critical. You will store it right there. And actually, clear everything. And then only Lucy can come in here. And it will be dug behind a wall. Because you don't want a random elephant to go in there and get addicted to Luciferum. You don't want somebody that suddenly goes on a mental break that just so happens to consume that crap. And then you have to scramble to get them another dose, or they just melt <laughs> into a pile of nanites. It is quite the sad event when that happens. I haven't actually had that happen ever. I always seem to find the Luciferum when I need it. Kind of like, like, as long as you just watch out for it and buy, buy it when you encounter it, it's often not ever a problem. Like, uh, the dosage happens like maybe once every month or something like that. So, it's really not that big a deal to produce lucifer i mean if you have like one or two people addicted if it becomes half a colony addicted to luciferum you're not gonna have a good time whatsoever trying to provide enough for everybody so for the time being we're just going to start building some of these uh f we're going to start building some of these that is 400 steel one component each uh, but obviously we're not going to enable them to be working until we build the entirety of the system. Uh, I don't know why I'm allowing a bunch of them. Because we need to build this room. So never mind. I just completely forget what I intend to do. That is almost completely dug out. And now, first we're going to create beautiful granite walls that... They have zero hope of scratching, okay? 
It is not necessary. It can just be the naked. It can simply be the naked stone. But this reduces the hope co quotient, quotient to zero. When they find themselves enclosed in a literal stone oven, oven, that is the ultimate undoing of their hopes and dreams. I hate that the symmetry is completely busted here and I won't be able to put a symmetrical door, but I'm not going to put a freaking ornate door right here. Let's make it so that we have a stone door. This is it doesn't really matter what material it is. It just needs to not be flammable. That's all that needs to happen there. Where are you going? You're getting some components over here. That's good. That's good. I approve of that. There was another more digging that I wanted to be done. This is all the steel. A ton of steel going to be dug out. How are all these plans going? This is looking, looking pretty great. Okay, the compact machinery is getting out of there. I'm going to focus on cr constructing this because otherwise I will forget. So let me create... A granite throne. Is it not here? I guess it's a miscellaneous or maybe furniture. I guess, yeah, meditation throne. You don't need a throne. I always, I think I always mention this. You don't need this throne. It's just flavor. <laughs> it just makes it extra crispy. When the Empire comes around to my asymmetrical throne room. There's a beautiful throne right there. We're even going to... Actually, no. I was going to clean it and take out the chunks. But no, we want... We don't want, like, a ton of wood floors. But we're going to put down 180 wood. Actually, you know, it's not that expensive to just put the entirety of the, of the surface in wood. We have 800 and, and something, so it's all good. Um... I definitely want to make sure this zone, it is not, you know, the animals don't come in here, don't come in here. It's something that I will do. I will expand this home area because I will like the Empire to be fully, fully fooled into thinking this is my mountainside throne room. They come in here and it's like, oh man, this is a very clean, nice, beautiful throne room. It's a little out of the ways. What are those scratch marks on the walls? Uh, let's uh, make sure that this is properly suppressed. The twisted oval is the thing is like I'm so curious, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm so tempted to be like, yeah, maybe, maybe just let it happen, see what happens. But right now, I'm not. I don't feel like I'm properly equipped to deal with that. Oh, what is what is happening here? Uh, stump man. I mean, sorry, trunk and mother-in-law. They are getting freaky. More elephants in the making. Obelisk mutation. While interacting with the obelisk, Grave Digger felt his arm tingling. Moments later, his skin split open and a fleshy growth erupted from his body. His arm has been replaced by a squirming tentacle. Bruh. <laughs> let, me, uh, let, me, let me see what's going on with your left shoulder there. I mean, manipulation 110. Is this good? Is this just good? Gravedigger, not as pretty as he used to be. <laughs> not as pretty as he used to be, but it is a manipulation buff. A fleshy muscle, muscle tentacle resembling a partial transformation into a flesh beast. Tentacle is excellent at manipulation. The flesh tentacle has its own neural structures and may become dangerous if removed. So you can... Like, take it off and then implant a bionic arm, looks like. Or a prosthesis if you're a low-tech heathen. But why? Thank you for this 10% manipulation. He's just ugly now. Nobody cares. He's a super immune cannibal. He never cared. He was a furry to begin with. Nobody gave a crap about Grave Digger's uh, physical appearance. He was already the bottom of the barrel, so... Screw him, and more power to him. Okay, this will soon be finished. I look forward to it. Please build this wall, though. That will be great, so we can start putting lights and pretty fine this entire bio-regenerating room. Is there anything else that uh, has been scheduled? 
all this space back here. Shoot, where's the anti-rolls? Uh, things are starting to look up. Cassandra is just not uh, throwing any kind of dangers at me right now. Which just means that something enormous is coming. Something awful and atrocious. Some kind of horrible experience is coming down the pipe. Oh, by the way, didn't we have Kevin? How are you doing, Kevin? How is your certainty? 14%. You're soon going to be converted. Do we even have a room for you? I think everything is occupied. We need to start getting some extra rooms built. Might as well build them all at once. That is how we do things. We build in bulk. So like that. There you are. This time I shall not forget the vent. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oops. There you go. Build, uh, the, the beds, I will build them one at a time. Look at, look at us. Look at us being on top of things. Blargo is sleeping here in his excellent bed with no dresser. What is this nonsense? What is this idiocy? Why are these rooms without a proper way to store all of our clothes outrageous? Maybe we also should have some floors for the prison. Maybe we'll get around at some point to smooth out these walls or I'll probably just dig them out and build some nice actual walls. The prison is kind of important for it to look nice. Otherwise, the prisoners are take forever to get converted. Psychot Brewing. Hey, that did not take long at all. Okay, let's go back to whatever the hell I was researching, which is the biosculpting that I've been trying to get at. Spark Creativity. Oh, actually, Spark Creativity is something that you want to look at. Is he even a creative person? No, he sucks ass. <laughs> he doesn't build anything. He has two construction, four in crafting. He's just hot garbage. But I'm going to give him a project. He might get lucky. Is there even anything? Before I, any, I do anything, let me go. Let's see. Do you do Psycho Brewing now? You really don't do it at the lab. Do you maybe? I, th I think the only place you do it is at the crafting spot. It's pretty sad. Actually, no. It is a cooking function. I didn't realize that. Yeah, Mike's makes Psychic tea. All right, let's do until... I don't think we want to sell this. We sell the Yayo. This is just for... Let's just have like 20. 20 sounds like a decent amount. Uh, this is just for... Who had the addiction? I always forget. I think it's like Katrina or Erica Dawson. Right? Health? No? Who had the addiction? Cold Shaw. Burn to Crawl. Meg. Rack like a vag bay. One of you idiots has a terrible... Oh no, it's mood. It's not addiction. It's just being sad because they can't get drugs. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Erica Dawson, that's the one. So we can assign... Where are you, Erica Dawson? Chemical fascination. Manage drug policies. Social drugs. For addictions. Psychic T. For addictions only, huh? For recreation, scheduled. Okay, you, you can just... I mean, it's not an addiction. I guess I can just create one for... Rename that. Air. Erika loves drugs. You can take it for recreation. Do whatever you like. Everything else, don't touch it. And we will assign. There you go. Erica loves drugs. There you are. You will be able to drink that psychite tea. That giant move debuff will finally go away. Crit break soul is a crafting savant. This is an actual great opportunity. You want to create some kind of weapon, some kind of 
armor. Let's see. I don't think we have... I don't think we have... Right now... A whole lot of stuff researched to create things. It's unfortunate. No, I need to advance my... My uh, creativity a little bit more. Otherwise... I guess I could just make him do a statue that sounds awful. Could have him do ooh uh, a giant friggin' mace. Hike. It's just a good mace. Let's make Hike the greatest mace. <laughs> going to be a legendary mace. He's going to club so many heads. It's going to be glorious. Let's add this bill. Make a mace. Do I even have uranium though? 17. More up, more up, more up. I don't want it to be steel. It needs to be uranium. That is unfortunate. But maybe give her or one of them a plasteel sword. And if it's like legendary, I don't even have freaking sword making, huh? This is just outrageous. Freaking outrageous. I guess we can quickly go into research. Like, how far are we from? Precision rifling, just one. 1,400, though, that's a lot. That will take forever to research. And I don't want him to never make anything. I guess he can make a legendary pants. That makes no sense, though. Let me let me uh, look into this in depth. Because inspiration doesn't last forever, I've decided to just... Let's have him do a heavy SMG. It's not like the most optimal use, but that's about as good as my research has gotten. So only... Who was it? Brixel. Only Brixel can make this heavy SMG. It is the high priority. That's the one thing that he'll do. Brixel, you're resting, huh? You don't need to rest right now. Go make a freaking heavy SMG. Go do it. All right. Looking forward to the next event. Nothing, a, a little bit of a respite, a little bit of peace. Ooh, the loving polar bear, Bospranus Plato, a duke from the refugee empire, is making a request. He wants you to take care of his favorite pet, the polar bear Cruncher, for 12 days, suffering from paralytic abasia and must be kept in bed. This is like the easiest quest of all time. A masterwork recurve bow, some honor or some goodwill. I mean, just for this 85 silver, it's worth doing. I will sell this bow for good money. I mean, it's only 250, right? It's like, this is like the easiest quest ever. The thing is, I have a plan to roast all of you to little charred pieces of dirt. So I will not be taking the loving, loving polar bear into my abode. I'm just going to take your bodies into a mass grave. I think that is a much better deal for me. Uh, eventually, though, this one needs to get built. You buffoons. Let's create a little bit of furniture here that will, you know, remain on fire for a little bit longer. And there you are. Just, just a few stools. Of course, we want light in there. Gorgeous. <laughs> Clearly, I don't need to spend so many resources, but damn it, if we're going to do something, let's do it in style. It's going to be absolutely fantastic, and I'm going to love it. Biosculpting has been researched. Let's get uh, our guns researched so we don't have to waste an inspiration ever again. Break Soul is working tirelessly right now. Just keep going. Keep going. It will eventually get done before you go to bed. So, we finally researched the thing. There's T-Rose creating our shelf. Let me get rid of this granite chunk. Please, this, this wall. I demand it. Demand it be built. Alright, this we can put it right there. For some reason, it's also in the shelf. As soon as this gets hauled, it really doesn't need to get hauled at all. We're just going to build 
a wall right there. No more Luciferum accessible to anybody. Is anybody brewing that tea? Look at Dawson, you're cooking freaking uh, raw meat. There is no mushrooms anymore. Man, they, they go through the food so quickly. It's just crazy. Thought I had a ton of mushrooms, but it didn't last that long at all. Masterwork. I was hoping for legendary. Masterwork will do. Break soul. So anyway, stay, check out this heavy SMG with artwork on it. This weapon bears an image of dozens of bell peppers. This work is executing a classic, classic bell peppers. Well done there. Break soul. Just, uh... Commanding everybody to eat their veggies. All right. Damage 15. Fire rate. Okay. I mean, 15 times 3. Pretty much. Decent range. 88%. 47. 27. If we take a look. Let's take a look. A Blargo's. Poor charge rifle. 15 times 3. Much worse accuracy. So using that... Master Wars FN SMG is better than this poor charge rifle. How crazy is that? Or I guess you could turn it around like charge rifles are so good that even a poor one is better than a Master Work SMG. You could turn that around. Um, why is he not wielding a legendary Hellcat thing? Because there's also 15 times 3, huh? <laughs> That's weird. Freaking strange. Why is it all 15 times 3? How about let's compare it with a normal one. 12 times 3 and then lower accuracy all around. Interesting, interesting. Uh, so clearly Blargo wants to wield that and then we'll, we'll pass it around the other one to another heavy SMG wielder. Where's Blargo? Where is he up to? Carrying his raw fungus. Oh, we still have him as a hauler? Please, you are above such base, such base tasks. Equip that Master War SMG, it is a tragedy. And then we'll give Break Soul this charge rifle and we'll keep passing down to Erica Dawson. What does he even have? A 15% uh, SMG that is pretty much the same. Not worth uh, swapping it around anymore. I don't know where he went, but he, uh, for some reason, he never equipped it. Or maybe he did. Yeah, he did. Okay, never mind. Why are you only in there, you buffoon? Probably because this storage area is completely packed. That is annoying. Why? I guess it's just the tons of uh, leather. How about we make sure that this leather disappears? Let's make sure... We're going to have, instead of two... We're going to have 10 dusters. And the reason for that is that they sell very nicely. And you can sell it to more people than just the fur. The fur and the leather only sells to bulk traders. The leather dusters, you can sell them to pretty much... Not every merchant, but a lot more merchants. Uh, and I think it's more value than just the raw materials. Depending, of course, on the quality, but... There's more value than, the, than just the materials. Why is there animal filth? Eh, whatever. Why, 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 why? Uh, zone. No filth. I guess this is being counted as animal filth area. Mm. Aha, there it is. We got to expand that whole side. Okay, looking good. Important. And this one is low. For some reason, nothing's being hauled. Over there, that's ah, fine. It's no big deal. Hey, that was built. All right, let's. Uh, I mean, we can't really clear out this area until these shelves. This pile of steel is used, which means we can now start allowing that to start using some steel. But this also needs to be built. But you know, that can be done at the same time. Let's get all these. The top row. We have a, a bajillion steel, so how about we just build them all? 43 components. 23. 
uh, hydroponic ba basins works out. Excuse me, Ratten. Why Ratten? I didn't name you Ratten. Are you like bonded? Are you bonded? Ah, oh, Cold Shaw. I, I missed the message. Cold Shaw bonded with this piece of trash and called it Ratten. And now he is unrestricted. That is not right. Okay, and uh, properly assigned to the no filth area. Uh, our beautiful digging mech is no longer occupied with anything. Thing is, there's just nothing to dig right now. There's just nothing to be done. So is he just a silly Burton doing absolutely nothing, just wandering around, consuming my power? Absolutely worthless. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That's fine. Is this being uh, built again? Why is this not being touched? Not really sure. Like, is there anything else that is scheduled? All the floors have been laid down. Ugh. Maybe because, ah, they're building all these. Uh, I really do not want anything to be sold. Conversion. Uh, I guess you just disallow it. Conversion done on Kevin, and now we can get to... We can get to recruitment. There you are. It will eventually happen. So a crafting spot is completely worthless to me, right? It's just trash. Delete. There's no room for low-tech solutions in this land. Making a bunch of dusters over there. That's nice. Another inspired creativity, huh? This time we will... I don't want you to create a legendary freaking duster. <laughs> See, uh, the research is like halfway. Or we're going to do break soul. How about... I unassign you for anything but crafting, which means you're just going to make blocks for a little while. There you go. And this is not... Oh, actually, this is counted on crafting, I see. Uh, you're just going to make us some medicine. And you're going to make some blocks. And uh, for the time being, and once this is research, we will create the greatest assault rifle of all time. It's going to be... A glorious weapon. We will call it Betsy. And we will sleep with it. Every night. Look at this wonderful area. I think it's also time to get rid of all these walls. I, I mean, Cassandra has given me an opportunity to have some peace. So I'm going to use it. We're gonna dig out this whole thing. Actually, wait, 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 wait. They'll destroy the supports. Let me cancel that real quick. Because that's a bad idea. We're going to create an interim... Interim, interim column. We got a granite. This will support this entire area. There you go. That needs to be built. And in fact, you know, might as well create some beauty while we're at it. We're not going to have anything here, so let's put two columns next to that. We could also put them in the corners. But that does get in the way if I want to put any kind of beautifying kind of thing. So uh, let's just leave those two columns right there. And this, that should support anything that I dig out. We could really do it like a little bit more, you know, uh, slowly. We don't need to dig out absolutely everything at once. This is the irritating part of doing underground things. Eventually you'll want to dig out the things or, or smooth them. And it takes forever to uh, get it done. But thankfully these people are extremely diligent. Put that wall right there. There you are. Wonderful. Pull this piece of garbage out of there. It feels good to finally have, you know, you start anew with the colony and it's so painful to get through everything. Eventually you get to a spot where everything is functional, things get done quickly. It is very nice, very, very nice. It's my temple being built. I don't know why, I don't know why it's not being touched whatsoever. Is there any other 
Oh, I see. They're gonna run to all these, all these dressers. I've been kind of monolith study progress. La Katrina made progress studying the monolith. The structure connects normal space to the void, a dimension hidden in the substructure of space-time. Some powerful mind in the void is leaking influence into our reality. La Katrina wants to study the monolith further to learn more. I think La Katrina is uh, slowly being converted to some kind of eldritch influence. Monolith now provides more knowledge when it's studied. That's awesome. That is the standard monolith as opposed to the weird twisted monolith that is seems to be more of a threat. But uh, I look forward to whatever else comes out of that awful thing. I didn't realize that we had queued all this nonsense. Of course, it's been uh, everybody's busy doing this. Why can't I put it there? It's a it's smooth sandstone. Why can't I put a, a power conduit through it? It lets me put conduits through this lamp. I guess it is because it's... Oh, it's not smooth, is it? Oh, I see. You just need to dig it out. I mean, I don't need to right now, but... That's the reason why the power conduit is not going through. Man, that was super fast, the way that they built that. Look at that, Kevin. I bet that you're so happy. Your room is ready. Your conversion to this colony is a foregone conclusion. You will be a part of this wonderful team of human beings and furries and other creatures of ill re repute. Look at that. Look at that. Why do they sew it so quickly? Though <laughs> This allow that nonsense. It's all going to die, you idiots. There's no light. It's all built, though. Okay, this is not during the day. Let's unforbid the sun lamp. What do I want to do with these? Well, mostly I want to grow hops. But we also need... We also need more food. Medicine's doing okay. Everything else is doing fine. It's just nice to have like an indoor source of things. Let's allow it, but now we're going to just start growing hops. Hop plant. Because our brewery shall come online and then... I'll finally be able to be rich again. Have a ton of beautiful beer. Delicious, nutritious, thirst quenching, and fun for the parties that we throw. It'll be glorious. Let me dig this out. Right, right, that's safe. Pretty sure that's safe. There's walls everywhere. There's columns everywhere. It shall all be properly done. It's fine. I will have to reinstall the lamps real quick. Megan, uh, the bot, will get around to it super fast. There it is. We can just even start plugging them in as they get dug out. I know, I know the age reversal is demanded. I know there's so many... Hey, everybody got around to it so quickly. And it, they built it. Why are they building this one so fast? And then my temple is not being built. Never mind. It is being built. <laughs> wow. Oh, we're so close. This throne, though, will take forever. We need to remember to set the party area right here. Uh, something we can do. Zone... Dumping stockpile. Because it, it kind of bothers me for all those stone chunks to be there. There you go. And we can haul all of these. Hit that P button. Haul all that crap into this dumping zone. The elephants would really, uh, should get around to it real quick. I guess Grave Digger is a hauler. He's going to get, get it done real nicely. I mean, obviously, other the other blocks are going to be hauled over there but uh all the ones that are inside are going to be taken care of kind of annoys me that these did not get built but whatever is you know it is our joke <laughs> it is our little joke that we're going to play on the empire and i'm very much looking forward to it 
It will certainly happen. It will certainly happen in the next episode. Oh, ah, precision firing. Precision rifling has been researched. I was good doing my outro and then we got precision rifling. Please, research. Research. High mech tech. Obviously, we gotta get that done. Finally use that dumbass chip. Anyway, I think we're, we're ready to go. Before I forget... Yeah, okay, this is all good. A spot for performing psychic rituals. Rituals can only be cast if the area surrounding the ritual spot is unobstructed. I mean, this is a decent spot, right? Why can't I build it here? Must be placed with standable space on all sides. Oh, the, the chunks are getting in the way. I guess this is a, a pretty cool ritual spot. I did not plan for having one. But it looks pretty damn badass. I mean, the, the you know the future. I can just make a really cool ritual, ritual corner over there. Alternatively, we can make a cubby hole and do it behind our temple, and that could be also pretty neat. But nah, let's just you know concentrate all the anomaly nonsense in one spot. Anyway, an imitation spot for Ragman. Why? It's right here. La Katrina is using it. I realize this. I guess we'll put one over there. You can use it. Anyway, anyway, in the next episode, we will have so much hilarity ensuing. It's going to be glorious. I thought there will be some kind of excitement, exciting event happening before the time was up. But sometimes you get a nice, nice little stretch of peace. I am not bitching. It is great. Thank you very much. Before I forget, though, let me put some sandstone tiles right here because it's driving me nuts. That freaking moss is growing in our little uh, place right there. Is this still suspended? Is that why nobody's doing it? Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a reason why my blocks suddenly run out and nobody's using them. Dude! It's alright, Brixel will get definitely get around to it. My lamps. Oh my she's always doing things. Ah install my lamp over here. This mystery must be accomplished. There's another lamp. Put it right there. Why are they storing this psychite tea? Does it not oh it never expires, didn't know that. I thought you had to keep it refrigerated. But does make sense? Why would you freeze freaking Psychite tea? It will become Psychite ice. It will be retarded. All right, there's some amazing, amazing RimWorld times. Thank you so much for this opportunity to create all this. I need to pay attention now to our power situation. Need to make sure that we don't run out with this sun lamp, but it should be all right. One sun lamp is very supportable. See you in the next episode.